The oyster production here in Chesapeake Bay is a very big um, economic and social activity. Uh, but since uh, a century, most of the production has been decreased, uh, decreasing uh, either because of disease, um, habitat destruction, or overfishing. Uh, what is interesting is uh, the areas that are least for oyster production. Uh, today is at its maximum area. So we have the biggest areas at our least, but production is still low. So there is something here that might be off. I'm interested in the last decade. So I have a database for the last 10 years, for, from 2006 to 2016. And even though from these all years, from all these years, only 30% of them have ever reported an harvest. So if we look at a smaller scale, like for three or four years, it's fine if someone has a lease and doesn't produce. So a leaseholder can have different leases and work in a rota rotational way. But when you look at this 10 years period, uh, if someone have one or like five year uh, leases that they haven't used at all for oyster production, then we can say, okay, probably this lease is used for another reason. But it could also be in another way that you have a nice property, a very nice coastal house, and you don't want to have uh, oyster aquaculture here uh, going on in this river, so you're gonna buy this lease and impede oyster to produce here. Well, generally people treat the area behind their houses when they live along the water as if it's their backyard. You know, they sort of think it's theirs. Well, it's not. It's public trust land. They only own down to mean low water. And a lot of people do not want cages or floats near their property. So this is what we're up against now. So for leases, we get a lot of protests. They view it as a noise issue, a use issue because they want to use that area for swimming or kayaking or just rec recreational use. They don't want to hear the noise. Um, they don't want people looking in their windows. What I'm trying to see is uh, what is the productivity capacity of each lease, so according to the environment. And if that lease is in a good environment and is supposedly uh, for yeah for this type of environment it's supposed to have this amount of uh, production if it's not we're trying to understand why and this difference this gap i'm explaining it by socioeconomic variables and for the socioeconomic variables i'm um, including the income uh, the population density and different socioeconomic data of the area where the lease is there is a lot going on, a lot of conflict in a local or really small scale. The output of this will be different maps. I will have the map of uh, all underutilized area, uh, all underutilized leased area of uh, Virginia, Chesapeake Bay. But we also have the areas that are under, underutilized because of the environment, because the environment is constraining or because of uh, socioeconomic constraints. And this would help managers and regulators to expand um, oyster aquaculture while mitigating for um, stakeholders' conflict, hopefully.